This rose is curved, which is not really my style, but I think it might look cool with a chunky jumper. Mom jeans, a chunky jumper in this caramel color, and then this one, which I really like because it has pearls all over it, but it's quite expensive for what it is. I love the shape of the sleeves of the jumper, they're quite puffy. It's very short, so great with high waisted jeans. I really like it, it's very soft and snuggly. Okay, I'm definitely too short for these trousers. Look at that. <laughs> Jumper is a no, the jeans are yes, and I love those sneakers. Guys, I've got some more PR to show you, so let's do that. Just got back home, um, Lou is actually next to me. Lee? Hello! <laughs> so, let's unpack the first box. So, I have actually no idea what's inside it. It's from DKNY. Is there new fragrance? Loads of new fragrances for me to try out this month. Um, oh, look at the packaging. It comes with a gold DKNY pouch and it has loads of gold bees. It's called Nectar Love. So that's the name of the fragrance. And because it has bees and honeycomb and gold color, I'm assuming I'm gonna love it because I actually don't like um, the green apple DKNY fragrance. I used to have that. But I love anything and everything honey scented. So this might be love. <laughs> this is the bottle. Kind of looks like a deformed apple and bees. Let's have a little spritz of it. It's actually very fresh. So it has notes of Yellow freesia, mandarin, grapefruit, nectarine, solar salicylates, um, jasmine, miguet, orange flower, mirabelle, cedarwood, vanilla musk, beeswax, neroli, and co-distillate. So it's um, it's quite floral. It's oh, I expected something a bit sweeter and more honey-like. But it's not. As it says, it's like nectar, so it's not necessarily a honey fragrance. It's more of a floral, slightly fruity, fresh perfume. It's quite nice. I don't know if it's my cup of tea. I feel like it's very spring-like, like the perfect spring scent. Or actually very good for... for summer as well, when you don't want to wear anything heavy or cloying. And um, I imagine myself with a flowy white dress and this perfume on. It's quite beautiful. I love floral scents, so I'm gonna have to try it on my skin to see. But yeah, thank you, DKNY. And then another box. It's something that I wanted for the longest time. And finally, I will have one myself. Tum-ta-da-da! -da -da. 
Oh my god. So, it is Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 instant camera in this minty color. And this is the newest model. Um, it's really nice because it has a selfie mirror so you can see whether you are in, in the frame or not. And I, I think I've, I've tried instant cameras maybe once or twice in my life. And I always wanted to have one because I think it's so cool to have unedited raw pictures you know, the, the type of pictures we used to take in the past or growing up, just very natural, real moments. Um, nothing fake or, you know, pretentious. So I hope that I'll be able to capture real moments like that with this camera. And I'll be definitely taking it with me traveling whenever I go somewhere to the south of France this month. I'll be taking it with me for sure. So it comes with uh, two batteries, a little like minty strap. So they have, I don't know exactly how many colors they have of this model, maybe five or six. They have like a dark blue color, smoky white, um, this kind of apricot color. Um, but this is the one I chose because I don't know. I really like this color. Um, actually, that's so nice that you have this little mirror, selfie mirror. And look at the amount of film I got. <laughs> so five boxes, one box contains 20 sheets. Um, so I'm very excited to use it for the first time. Maybe I should take a picture with Louis as our first picture. So I'm gonna do that. I watched so many reviews on YouTube of this camera. If you guys want, uh, I can actually uh, review it as well, give you my thoughts on the camera um, after playing around with it for a little bit longer. But I think I should be able to know how to use it now. Let's see. Let's see if I can remember. Um, so batteries go in here. Batteries are in. Now let's put in the film. How do you turn it on? Okay, so it should be on now. And the first film should be clear. not clear but black so this is like a protector one you have a few different settings so inside the house cloudy when it's sunny or when it's super sunny so I'm gonna take my first picture with Louis Louis, Louis. That is so amazing. I love it already. I know you're not supposed to shake the picture, so I'm gonna wait for it to develop. And yeah, I'm so happy with it. I think it's a very beautiful color. I'm very happy with my choice. Oh, that makes me so happy. Honestly, I'm so happy with this new camera. Cannot wait to capture loads of incredible memories this year not on instagram but with this camera and then i'll buy a special photo album for these little instant pictures so here we go that's the strap for carrying it around i actually don't get what this is if any of you guys know please let me know I'm not sure if this is a fish eye lens or what but let's have a look at the picture Oh my god, I love it. And you can actually write something with a marker here. Oh my god, how sweet is this picture, guys? I love it. Look at Louis. He's like, what the hell is going on? Hey guys, so I know you love my vlogs, but I am feeling poorly. I'm actually sick while 
I'm, I'm much better than I was a couple of days ago. So that's why I'm not really going out, I'm not vlogging and doing things, I'm just you know, sat at home, taking care of myself, working on computer. But PR packages just kept coming through the door and I have a stack of boxes. I thought I'm gonna turn the camera on and open them in front of you because I personally really like watching PR unboxings. So I thought you might like as well. I actually had a look at two of the boxes, but the rest of them uh, are going to be a complete uh, surprise to me. So I'm gonna start with this one. It's from Origins, one of my absolute favorite skincare brands ever, along with Bioderma, I think Origins is my favorite. So it says wake up, instant energy. So it's their ginseng line. So they have sent me ginseng eye cream, which if you watch my channel, uh, you should know is my absolute favorite eye cream. Look at how much I have left. It's pretty much gone, um, so that's great. I'm gonna have a backup. It's a really nice pale pink eye cream with, infused with illuminating particles, so it makes your under eye area really bright, highlighted, illuminated, and it just looks like your eyes are sparkling. It's not gonna get rid of dark circles or like make you magically, you know, rested, but it's gonna create an illusion of um, well-rested eyes. And they also sent me some face creams. So ginseng energy boosting gel moisturizer and ultra hydrating energy boosting cream. And I'm not gonna lie, I tried this one already because I couldn't wait, I couldn't resist. Um, and this smells like pure orange juice, like you're applying orange juice on your face because these are infused with, I believe orange, lemon, let me tell you. Um, so these have coffee, coffee seed oil, ginseng, um, essential oil of lemon, grapefruit, and spearmint leaves. So yeah, they smell very refreshing, especially in the morning. It's so nice to use them because it's like, I don't know, it's like orange juice for your face. And yes, this is extremely moisturizing. So it's, it's called ultra hydrating. And I feel like my skin really needs that at the moment. It's very dehydrated, very dull, kind of tired looking. Thank you Origins so, so much. Let's open this box. It's from Douglas. Um, I actually have no idea what's inside. They told me they would send me something. So let's have a look. Oh, okay. So they've sent me Douglas Home Spa Sea Thalasso Seaweed and Sea Minerals Revitalizing Body Lotion, which is gonna be very nice for traveling because it's like, I think you can get two uses out of that one. Oh, that's also great for traveling. I love travel size products because, you know, I travel quite a bit and they're super handy. Colistar um, Volumizing Mascara. Mascara Volume Unico, Thickening Tailor Made Shaping. I have actually never tried anything from Colistar. It's an Italian makeup brand and I don't even know why. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. So I'm gonna give my first Colistar product a go. Ooh, something from Shiseido. I don't think I've ever tried anything from Shiseido either and I've always been curious because I know it's such a good brand. It's a clear mega hydrating cream. That's super nice. I'm gonna have like ultra and mega hydrating creams. So, oh, that's such a cute packaging. I love it. Look at it. It's called cream, but it looks like gel. Oh, oh it smells so good. So that would be perfect for on the plane, you know, like to apply while you're um, having your flight. So thank you so much. That's amazing. Some travel essentials. And then, uh, oh, five years. It says Douglas, five years, open and celebrate. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a little uh, Douglas colored cupcake. I don't know if it's still good. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's still good. It doesn't look like it's fresh, but thank you so much. They sent me something else, a little envelope. Let's have a look. 
Oh, some perfume samples. Okay. Oh, I tried this in the shop. I actually tried all of these in the shop. I really like this one. It's Hermes new perfume. It's called Twilly. Um, you know, probably paying homage to their classic Twillies. I know I like this perfume. It's really nice. So also great for traveling. Then uh, Prada has a new perfume in the most beautiful bottle. It's like this kind of cherry colored um, bottle. It's called La Femme. Opulent and sensual, intensely Prada. At the heart of the luxuriant floral bouquet, the tuberose is magnified by smooth spicy notes of orange blossom with jasmine sandbag enhanced by patchouli and iris. Literally all of my favorite notes in one. And then uh, DKNY nectar love um so yeah that's from douglas <clears throat> thank you so much douglas let's open another package oh this is gonna be a watch a new watch uh so the brand is called lars vivalius i don't know how to pronounce that name but it's a swedish brand it says stockholm on here <gasps> Look at that. Can you guys see the watch properly? Isn't it just so beautiful? It says LW on here. So that's my Rosefield watch and that's the new watch. It's a little bigger. The face of it is a little bit bigger. That's my Daniel Wellington. Like, look at the difference of the thickness of the bracelet. This is like very, very slim. And this is quite thick. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try it on my wrist. I basically have to adjust it because now it's uh, too big on my wrist. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a bit, the face of it is a bit bigger. I think it looks more masculine. Like this is um, quite a masculine watch actually. So thank you, Lars. It's actually very beautiful, very shiny. Let's get into this box, which is Swedish as well. I had a look at this box because I didn't expect anything from like from a Swedish brand. I was like, what is that? I've actually never heard of it before. So it came with this rope on the box. The brand is called Bernangen. Bernangen. Founded in Stockholm, live the Swedish way of life. So when I opened the box, the first thing I saw was this, a Swedish flower crown. So in Sweden, they wear these uh, during the midsummer, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know they wear these on uh, Midsummer's Eve. And uh, have a little leaflet, more information on the product. So I believe this is like a very well-known brand in Sweden. Again, any Swedes watching uh, my video, please let me know if it's actually popular in Sweden or not. So I got their um, Nutritive Body Lotion with Cloudberry, Lapland's favorite wild fruit, 7% protecting cold cream um, for dry to very dry skin. So that's the body lotion. I'm gonna link these below so you guys can check them out by yourselves. Um, Karen shower cream with oat milk, loved in Sweden, and 5% protecting cold cream, shower and bath gel, blended with natural sea salt and protecting moisture serum. And then this is Midsummer Glow Body Oil. Indulge in this Nordic Midsummer inspired ritual blended with delicate floral oils and protecting oil serum. Um, yeah. Very curious to give these a go because, as I said, I've never heard of this brand before. Then, this is the box I received today. This is very heavy and it says Bath Fairy. It's a Lithuanian, I believe it's a Lithuanian uh, bath bomb brand or something. We shall see. So, some pink paper. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh, these are bathing goodies. So for bath lover that I am, this is amazing. So the first thing I see is Aphrodite um, bubble bath. Oh, these products are German. 
Yes, made in Germany and they're vegan. That's cool. Not tested on animals, but vegan products. Um, so yeah, this is bubble bath. Then uh, this is strawberry feeling bath chocolate. It honestly looks like edible pink chocolate. Look at that. Hand cream. Ooh. Let's try it out. Oh, it smells very sweet. It smells like strawberries and yogurt. Oh my God, no joke, but like not artificial smelling at all. It's like, oh my God. So it has shea butter, almond oil, panthenol and vitamin E. It smells so natural, like very sweet, but like strawberries and yogurt. Oh, these are so sweet. Wow, like little cupcakes. Oh my God. So these are for your bath as well. That, that's crazy. I mean, look at them. Doesn't look like it's something for your bath. Look like, honestly, it looks like something you should be eating. So this is bath cake, little red riding hood and then this is bath praline petit amour oh my god adorable so thank you so much bath fairy i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys um as to where you could order these products if you're interested as well uh, oh my god this chocolate i just want to eat it <gasps> look at that it's like a bar of pink chocolate and then lastly, this black box. I know it's gonna be from L'Oreal companies. They always wrap it in black. Okay, yes, I was right. We've got a box from Lancome. A beautiful Lancome box. So let's have a look. I know what it's gonna be. It's gonna be the new... Oh. It's it's just dreamy. It's Lancome's collaboration with Olympia Latin. If you guys are into fashion, you would know that Olympia Latin uh, she does these box uh, clutches that are inspired by books. So there are these beautiful embroidered clutch bags. It looks like you're carrying a book, a classic book. They're extremely expensive, but so beautiful. I'm gonna leave a picture somewhere here on the screen so that you uh, would get the idea of what I'm talking about. And she collaborated with Lancome and released some products. And they come in the most adorable packaging I've ever seen. Like, look at it. Look at this. Like, this is insane. Wow. I'm very curious about this one because it actually looks like... It says Olympia's Wonderland. And this actually looks like one of Olympia's clutches. Oh wow, this is like a piece of art, like a le collector's item. I don't want to use this. I want to just keep it as a collectible makeup item. What? Oh my god. So yeah, this is exactly what Olympia's clutches look like. Um, they're made of canvas and then they're like embroidered. Like so. But inspired by books, as I said, and this, it just says Olympia's Wonderland. Are you kidding me? Wow, wow, wow. This is definitely a piece of art. Even the brush is gorgeous. Is this not insane? Like, are you kidding me? How did I... Like, how did it happen that I received something like this? Wow. Wowzers. Look at that. Look at that packaging. Honestly, I'm just gonna keep it. I'm not gonna use it. I don't think so. This is gonna be like a piece of decor in my home. And I've seen this on social media. This is cushion highlighter. And I wanted this so badly. Because it's just stunning. Oh my. It says Olympia's Wonderland, again, same embroidered um, print. 
And then it's a cushion. It says long come here. A cushion highlighter. I've heard that it's quite a subtle one, which is perfect for me. Um, so. Oh yeah, it actually looks and feels like foundation, but it is a highlighter. It's a, ve a very natural looking highlighter. So when you put it on your hand, it looks like foundation, but then when you blend it out, it's a highlighter. And it's, yeah, it's not too much, not too intense. It's just beautiful, soft luminosity. You know what? I'm actually very tempted to apply some of it on my face. Should I use the sponge? Yes, I will. Because I have no highlighter on today. So I said, I'm sick. I'm not into doing my makeup. I love it. Honestly, love it. It's definitely going to Paris with me next week. Wow. This is exactly my cup of tea. This is gonna be my new favorite. I'm sure it's limited edition, so I will be very sad when I use it up. Probably need to get a backup or something. Wow, this highlighter is so far my favorite out of all these products. Okay, and then this is matte shaker. Ooh, I have, I think all of the matte shakers, but these are Olympia's matte shakers. This is like an orangey red color. What is it called? It's called Olympia. Simply Olympia. That's nice. And then, that's a nail polish in Cardinal. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that red. And the bottle is stunning. It has a rose on top and it's like a classic blood red color. Might wear it to Paris as well. It's so beautiful. And then lastly, I've got art liner. Um, just eyeliner in the color En Soupçonnable. En Soupçonnable. En Soupçonnable. Something like that. <laughs> so that's the art liner. And I believe it's purple because it has a purple sticker on here. Yeah, it is a purple, it's like a metallic purple liner, but it's not too crazy. It's a wearable, very classy purple. Look at that, I think it would really enhance uh, green eyes. Thank you, Longcom, so much. I mean, this packaging is so adorable. I actually want to keep the boxes. I don't wanna throw these away, and I don't think I will. And this highlighter is everything and this is a piece of art absolutely overwhelmed thank you so so much to everyone who sent me these incredible goodies i feel like it's yeah it's it's probably one of the best uh pr openings i've ever experienced because everything is beautiful i love everything there are no crazy green or gray or black lipsticks or like insane eyeshadows or whatever like everything i would use and generally enjoy so yeah i'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea with some lemon and honey and i hope you guys enjoy this unboxing vlog um take care of yourselves and i love you loads i wouldn't be receiving any of those if it weren't for your guys' support to my channel and um yeah, have a great day. Bye.